Hi, this is Butch Stearns at the Harvard Club in Boston. It's Health IT Insight 2012, our two-day event. I'm here with one of our speakers from day two, Paulo Machado. He is the CEO and founder of Health Innovation Partners. Paulo, how are you, my friend? Doing great, Butch. Thanks for having me here today. Tell us about your company. Health sure. Innovation Partners. Sure. I started off uh, three years ago with a burning passion to drive innovation into the business model of healthcare and went off on my own and started working across the healthcare stakeholder community to help them figure out how to survive the healthcare uh, renaissance process that's underway. Cool. How's it going for you? Going well. There's a lot of organizations out there, as everyone knows, they're in the process of trying to figure out what role will they play and how do they get from here to there. So they're and the need to work with people to figure that out. It's funny you put that because after doing this event for two days, we're here at the end of the event now, and the two things you just brought up, the role you have to play and how to get from here to there. Let me just give you two things that I learned over the last two days, particular to healthcare. You need to think about the role you play. You need to understand that there's certain things in every industry, especially healthcare, that maybe you don't do well and think about some partnerships to be able to help you do that. Sure. And then the third part of that is just that that you can't get there by yourself and you're not going to get from A to Z. You better know how to get from A to B first before you figure out how you're going to get to Z, right? Sure, you're absolutely right. And I think what's interesting about healthcare is um, as the culture of healthcare is such that people aren't used to asking for help. It's a build it here approach to healthcare historically and that's why you see it's the largest cottage industry in the world, two and a half trillion dollars uh, cottage industry, right? We don't typically right. need to or want to collaborate and that's part of its culture and education how it all happens, uh, but a big chunk of it is also the incentives aren't aligned. There's really no reason historically for healthcare to work with each other. And you were up there today during your speech talking about the public and the private sector mm -hmm. and trying to, you know, foster the growth, mm -hmm. honestly, of healthcare innovation yeah. and technology. So yeah. um, we have links to that and you can check that out on our Pulse on Technology site, but without redoing your whole speech, sure. what are some of the things, key points that you were trying to emphasize? Yeah, there? I, I think the big question is the, the why now? Why is healthcare in such, such a dire need for healthcare transformation? Well, it's an current? election yeah. year. That's why it's on the forefront um, for a reason, right? I, I think that's one piece of it. It's, yeah. it's much, much deeper than that. It's, um, the bottom line is it's not sustainable as it's currently structured in any way, shape, or form. The value curve just doesn't exist. We pay too much and get too little out of what we pay for. Um, in a normal consumer market with normal goods, which healthcare is not, um, the company that deliver this quality, this level of quality for this level of cost typically wouldn't survive for very long. Right. The market would take it over. But since healthcare is a negative good, it's something that needs to be consumed that is not consumed logically and is not provided for logically from the, the demand side or the supply side, um, it creates a huge impetus for it to not change, so to speak, in many ways. So uh, clearly at this point, you need to drive that transformation forward. Um, and frankly, just from a pure budgetary perspective, the government just can't possibly afford it. And frankly, either can employers or consumers afford it as it is. We're starting to approach you know, 18, 20% of, of GDP pretty soon. Um, we don't know what the right number is. I haven't had that discussion at a national level yet. Whatever the number is, people's impressions are it's too much from every, from every perspective. So the government and others have jumped into the fray to drive business model innovation um, at every level by a whole series of different techniques. So with Health Innovation Partners, you mentioned off the top that you're passionate about this. Mm -hmm. You started a company with that passion. Mm -hmm. You were here for two days and there were people that are as equally passionate, sure. educated and smart, not as many, mm -hmm. as you. Uh, <laughs> what did you take out of these two days that either got reinforced to you or maybe something that was an eye-opener for you? Um, I think there's just a lot of reinforcement that there's an awful lot of people who are, are thinking about these problems. And I think the more people are thinking and talking about them, the better. Because at the end of the day, that there's a, healthcare is experiencing what I would think of as a perfect storm. Right? It's unsustainable as it is, as it is structured. The costs are misaligned across stakeholder types. Um, you've got emerging technologies that are challenging the, uh, these, the current incumbents. Um, so those things are all things that are not things you can ignore if you're in the incumbents in the healthcare system. And frankly, you also have an informed consumer because the digitization of life is underway today. And for now, healthcare has been able to kind of hold off the digitization of health, that's not going to be the case because consumers are going to be empowered by the emerging technologies and people are just going to see, have transparency drive what the model looks like in the future, like we did with all the other industries that right. got digitized. Well, the storm analogies are good because with any storm, you wonder what it's going to look like after the fact. You wonder what damage is going to be done and you wonder who's going to be left there it's to, to rebuild. The, uh, the uh, renaissance will be um, on the backs of much flotsam, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> Paulo, thanks for your time. Continued success. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Paulo Machado from uh, Health Innovation Partners. Uh, I'm Butch Stearns. This is part of our Health IT Insight 2012.